Here are some tips on how you use the playing surface to your advantage. Hi, I'm Natasha Watley, two-time Olympian, and I help softball athletes become game changers. For the best softball slap hitting tips, drills, motivation, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. This Tasha tip is brought to you by my live free class on how to build a game-changing triple threat. Come learn how to build a slapper into a triple threat properly. So sign up for my next class at gamechangers.natashawatley.com forward slash live class. So in order to level up, you're going to have to start to pay attention to your surroundings, your environment, so that you can use it to your advantage. So for example, you want to make sure that you're paying attention to the surface that you're playing on. Are you playing on turf? Are you playing on hard dirt, soft dirt? Did it just rain? All of these things you want to start to think about because you want to play it to your advantage. So here's a quick overview on what you should do on each type of surface. I'm gonna break it down for you. So if we've got turf, depending on the type of turf, more times than not, turf is a very, very bouncy surface. It gives you true hops. So let's use that to our advantage and try to think about bouncing the ball, trying to get that height on it. We also want to have that same mentality on a hard surface. If we're playing on dirt that's really, really hard, really, really compact, almost feels like concrete, use that to your advantage and try to get height on the ball. If you're playing on a field that's got heavy sand, you almost feel like you're in quicksand trying to get out of the batter's box. It's a lot of dirt on the field. We wanna use that to our advantage as well. What we wanna do is we wanna get the defenders to move laterally side to side. So if I can get the shortstop to move laterally in heavy, heavy sand, that's what I wanna do. If I could do soft slaps and place the ball, the ball is gonna usually tend to be a little bit slower. So defenders are gonna to have to charge it and they're gonna to have to move laterally. So we're gonna to wanna to use that to our advantage. If we've got a hard or fast infield or hard, fast surface, we wanna think about doing something hard where we're getting this ball through the infield, using it to our advantage, getting that ball out of the infield as quick as possible. So I would more so lean on my hard slap in those situations. What's your favorite surface to play on and what's your favorite type of slap to do on that surface? I want to know, leave it in the comments below. I have a three part mini video series on the slap basics. Make sure you download it from the link below. Also, if you want to join a community of softball parents, coaches, and players and have conversations all about slap pitting, I have a secret society and a free Facebook group where we share tips, drills, and motivation. The link is also below. So we want to think about opening up to our surroundings so that we can use that to our advantage. If we are paying attention to the surface that we're playing on, that could very well be very advantageous for us when we are doing our different types of slaps. So make sure that you guys are staying tuned to that and good luck to you. If you like this video, please let me know by commenting, liking, and sharing this video. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this. Thank you for tuning in and see you next time.